Okay, we've looked at the sign rule. Here's a special case. It's the ambiguous case. There may be two answers for one question. Here's a triangle. You know side B. You know side A. You know angle A. You want to work out angle B. Perfect. Use the sign rule. But this triangle also has the same side B, the same length side A, the same angle A has quite a different angle B. Let's see that again. One case, the other case. One case, the other case. Both have the same side B, the same side length A, the same angle A, different angle Bs. Here's an example. In triangle ABC, side B is 10 centimeters, side A is 8 centimeters, angle A is 40 fine angle B. Well, it could be this angle down here with the acute angle, or it could be this obtuse angle in here. Using our sine rule, 8 over sine 40 equals 10 over sine B. Rearranging sine B equals 10 sine 40 over 8. So B equals the inverse sine of 0 0.803, which is 53.5 degrees. But that's this angle here, the one on the right, the acute angle. It could also be 126.5. It's an ambiguous case. Here's another example. You got this triangle here. You want to work out angle C. Use the sine rule. Rearrange for C. It says 42.8. But if you didn't have the diagram, you could also draw it like this. It also has a side 12 and a side 16 and an angle 34. And you also find angle C. And the answer is 131.8. You see? You have to get the obtuse angle, just take away the acute angle from 180 degrees. One more example. Here we've got side 16, side 20, angle 50. You need to work out angle C at the top there. Again, use the sine rule. Angle C is 73.2. But you could also draw the triangle like this. There's also 16, also 20, also 50 degrees, but this angle is bigger than 90 degrees. It's 106.8 degrees. Okay. Here's another example you could make up for yourself. If you have an angle of 29, one side is 20, other side is 13, two possible angles. Could be 48.2 or could be 131.8. Just be careful with the ambiguous case. Remember the obtuse angle. It's 180 minus the acute angle. Enjoy.